Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be discussing one of the doubt asked in the comment. The question was, my R mod 2 pi Z is isomorphic to S1. We are working in the concept of group theory. So we are working in the groups where R is a group under addition. S1 is nothing but all complex number where mod z is equal to 1 that means it is nothing but that unit circle where this is a real line this is nothing but imaginary line this is nothing but my s1 okay. where the radius is 1 what is asking the question is to prove that r mod 2 pi z is isomorphic to s1 where s1 is nothing but this unit circle which is a group under multiplication 2 pi z is nothing but all integer multiple of 2 pi and over here we are supposed to use the first isomorphism theorem very trivial type of a question where the only thought required or only thinking required is about how we will define that homomorphism right so in what way you are going to define that homomorphism that is the only question to be asked so as i see i want a homomorphism from a group under addition to a group under multiplication where my entire S1 should get covered. So from real numbers, I am going to a some part of a complex. So I defined my map F from R to S1 as my F of any number X is same as I want to go into a complex number. The easiest and the one of the trivial way to reach from a real number to complex number is nothing but by using the Euler's identity. Right? So I am going to use the Euler's constant that is nothing but e to the power ix. Right? That is nothing but cos x plus i sin x. So if I see this my function f of x is defined like this by the definition itself it is a very defined function i just need to prove that it is an onto homomorphism okay so first thing that i do is i prove it is an homomorphism since i am working in the group i just need to show that to prove it is an homomorphism i need to prove that my f of x plus y the operation for the first group should be distributed so I get f of x <coughs> times f of y right since in the second group in my s1 the operation is multiplication so let me just try to prove it is an homomorphism so it is f of x plus y I just start from f of x plus y that is same as what that is same as e raised to i x plus y Right, so that is same as what? That is same as e raised to i x times e raised to i y. That is same as f of x times f. So the way the function was defined, it is a natural homomorphism from R to S1. f of x, f of y. Therefore, f is homomorphism, a group homomorphism. Now I will prove that my this map is even an onto map. How I will prove it is an onto map? So to prove it is an onto for any z inside S1, what I know is my mod of z should be equal to 1. We know that any Number z can be written as r times cos theta plus i r times sin theta. Basically, what I am writing is nothing but r e raised to i theta. It given any complex number, it could be written in this form. So, if I say the mod of z is equal to 1, this implies me my value of the radius is equal to 1. Right, that means my r is equal to 1, therefore my z must be same as e raised to i theta 
for some theta which would be a some real number for us right so if i know this that means what that means my this z e raised to i theta is same as my f of theta for some theta inside real number therefore my theta is nothing but the pre image for this z so given any z inside s1 i can find out the pre image therefore my f is even an on to function right so what i found is my f is an on to homomorphism by first isomorphism theorem what i can write by first isomorphism theorem i know that my r mod the kernel of f r is what r is nothing but real numbers so r mod kernel of f is isomorphic to since it is on to it is isomorphic to s1 only the only part left it is nothing but to prove that my 2 pi z is same as kernel of f. right so how i can prove that my 2 pi z is same as kernel of f? let's just try to see so my kernel of f how it is defined the kernel of f is same as collection of all those real numbers such that my f when i apply on that real number my answer must be one right so how when the answer could be one that means my x inside real number such that my e raised to i x is same as one right what we know about this e function e raised to i theta we know that in complex number e raised to i theta or e raised to i x is nothing but a periodic function with the period of 2 pi okay so what are the possible values of x my x can be 0 if e raised to 0 is 1 yes then the next time it would be 1 is nothing but after 2 pi the next time it is nothing but at 4 pi then it could be at minus 4 uh, sorry it is 4 then we can have even 6 pi and so on similarly we can have at minus 2 pi also it is 1 at minus 4 pi is also 1 Dot dot. So that means all integer multiple of two pi would work as an element of kernel of f. Therefore, my R mod kernel f, which is isomorphic to S one, now we can write my kernel of f is same as two pi z, which was something but the required result. right i hope you understood if you have any doubt difficulty in any step be free to ask in the comment section okay thank you